Welcome to Pastor's Corner with Dr. Alan McLaughlin, Senior Pastor and Founder of New Life Bible Church and New Life Preparatory Academy. Pastor's Corner is a program for the community featuring topics in Bible study, evangelism, and Ask the Pastor segments to help you understand the gospel of Jesus Christ, as well as interviews with a variety of both church and community leaders that affect the greater Fayetteville area. Pastor McLaughlin believes in preparing our youth to be godly leaders of our future, not losing one child. Eighth grade to the twelfth grade. I'm also the president of the Fedville Cumberland County Ministerial Council, and you're inside Community Spotlight. This is a program that we produce at the studios of New Life Bible Church to help you enrich your family life and your walk with the Lord. Today we have a couple of interesting topics that we hope we can get to. Uh, in its entirety, first of all, is what every woman wants from a man. What every woman wants from a man. Secondly, we'll tell you 10 things what every man wants from a woman. And then if we have time, we'll talk a little bit about uh, how to get the best out of your children, how to make your children attend. In this day and age, when families are under assault of Satan, we want to give you all the ammunition possible to so you can uh, uh, resist the uh, temptation, resist the, the schemes of Satan so that you can have a very successful life, uh, not only in terms of your Christian walk, but also in your relationship with your spouse and your children. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about some things that are happening at New Life Bible Church. Uh, we have the New Life Bible uh, Christian Academy and Preparatory School. We are in our 11th year as an independent uh, Christian school. We have had over 600 uh, students to uh, have come through our school. We've had 55 who have graduated uh, from K-3 through the 12th grade. We are excited about what God does uh, and is doing at our school. Currently now we have about 100 kids enrolled. And if you're interested in your child receiving the best in Christian and technical education, we ask that you give us a call. We do have tutoring and after uh, school care uh, for those who go to public school. Uh, the number is 868-9640 and speak to one of our counselors or the secretary and they'll give you more information. A New Life Christian Academy and Preparatory School, which is a ministry of New Life Bible Church. We are probably one of the only uh, minority uh, Christian schools in this area. Secondly, we want to talk, I want to share a little bit about New Life Bible Institute. It's a two-year uh, Christian diploma program in which you can earn your uh, two-year diploma from an independent study course. Uh, we have uh, 19 courses and 19 classes of uh, uh, courses in all in which you can complete your two-year diploma. And if you're interested and you're serious about studying the Word of God and you're 18 years old and, old, uh, and older, we invite you to give us a call. Our uh, semester this year, our, our current uh, studies that we are currently in, uh, we're in uh, Christian literature, and also uh, we are studying uh, great doctrines of the Christian faith. Two uh, classes now that we are involved with, the Christian literature involves the book of Job, Psalms, Proverbs, uh, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, and uh, Lamentations. We do an in-depth study of these uh, uh, wisdom literature books. And then the um, great doctrines of the faith, why we believe the Bible, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the forgiveness of sin, the virgin birth, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the ascension, the atonement, and redemption. These two courses are taught here at New Life Bible Church. Classes begin April the 4th. If you're interested, give us a call, 868-9640. You can be a pastor, you can be an assistant pastor, or you can be just someone who wants to know more about the Word of God so you can be of assistance to those whom God has entrusted to you. Uh, and we want to invite you out to our services also, 8.30 and 11 o'clock each Sunday morning. Uh, we have expository preaching, and you're invited to come out. At 9.30 to uh, uh, 10.30, we have breakfast served on the uh, campus of New Life Bible Church. If you want to have a wonderful breakfast uh, at New Life Bible Church between services, you are invited to come out. 8.30 to 9, 8.30 will be our early morning service. Uh, 9.30 to 10.30 is breakfast, and then 11 o'clock will be our uh noonday service and you are back to come out and be a part of our services.
Now I want to talk a little bit about what every woman wants from a man. What every woman wants from a man. I would suggest if you uh, are not taping this particular program that you do so, especially uh, husbands, so you can remember what your wife really wants. And uh, wives to take this program. A beautiful smile. Tell him that you like the way that he uh, taught Sunday school last Sunday. Or if you're a preacher's wife, tell him that was an outstanding sermon and you really uh, did a great job. W men, women rather, men love this kind of stuff. I'm not giving you a secret, ladies. It's just that men, cra men are crazy about this. They have big egos. They, don't pre they pretend they don't, but they really do. Number six, uh, ladies. Men want a woman who has more virtue. They want a woman who they believe uh, has high standards. In other words, they want a lady. Guys talk about this all the time. My lady. And they're not talking about someone who's sort of loose, or who, uh, who, has, uh, who smokes in public, or, or, or who uh, goes around looking as if uh, she uh, uh, doesn't have a, a husband at home. They want someone who dressed modest and nice and looked the part. They want a woman of high moral virtue. They really do. Now, they may say otherwise, the ladies, but they want a lady who they can say, that's my lady. Not because of, of some uh, way she's dressed that's sort of loose-fitting clothes, but, but clothes that really make her look like she is a lady. They want a lady. And then they want someone who has a sense of humor. And I said that for the men, but women... Uh, men uh, love someone who has a sense of humor also. You need to laugh. I know you with the kids and with school and with everything else, you have a tendency to, you know, don't want to have time to do this and do that. But learn, learn to laugh. Learn to joke with your husband. Learn to laugh with your husband. Uh, go to a movie or, or just go for a ride and just, just learn to tell a joke. In fact, ladies, uh, sometimes men get around and tell a joke to each other. Ladies sometimes don't get into telling jokes, you know. But you, there are some clean jokes that you can tell. You just you and your husband, you can say, "Honey, I heard a joke. I read a joke, or, or I heard something on TV that's real funny. Let me tell you about it." Men eat that kind of stuff up, ladies. They really do. Not joking. <laughs> Women and, and number eight, men like uh, men like a woman who is intelligent, who is smart, who knows various subject matters. And they may not say that again, ladies. But if, if they love a woman who knows something about current events, who knows something about uh, maybe uh, uh, sports events, they want someone who can converse with them uh, in an intelligent way. They love to tell their friends, you know, my wife is smart, smarter than me. They love that. They love for a woman to have a college degree or, or a smart and uh, who have a degree uh, who can teach and do things like that. They uh, really get excited and they just tell their friends, this is what my wife can do. And they just are crazy about that. And then number nine, uh, women, men want a man who, uh, want a woman who is totally honest with them. And I think that, that goes into play with the other. They want someone who is totally honest. Someone who would talk to them and share with them and share their feelings. And one thing that about ladies is that Ladies have a tendency to not share their feelings. They don't think it has an effect on a relationship. It does. When you don't share your feelings and you don't talk, ladies, what you're really doing is you are lying to the relationship. Now, you may not think that, but you really are. You are denying honesty in a relationship. What's wrong, darling? Nothing. Well, that's a lie if something is wrong. So men want a woman who is totally honest. And lastly, uh, Women want, men want someone whom they can trust. When you leave home, they want someone whom they can trust. Now, I've given you 10 things that a woman wants and 10 things that a man wants. And I hope that these have been helpful to you. I hope that, that God has blessed you uh, with these. Now, I have these on videotape. And if you want to uh, communicate with us, you can call us or write us. We're at New Life Bible Church. We invite you out, actually, to our church service again every Sunday morning at 8.30 and 11 o'clock. If you've never been involved with expository preaching, uh, where you can learn the Word of God for yourself, uh, we invite you to come out. All our sermons are, are written out, and you can take copies home, you can take a DVD or CD, and we just invite you to be a part of New Life Bible Church. Now, until next time, this is Pastor McLaughlin saying, have a great God-filled day.